Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by. I am so glad that you did. I um, hope you all had a really nice Saturday. I finished, well, I have two more file folders to go through of my journal pages and things that I, um, journal pages mostly, that I've printed and um, I have to go through those and see what I'm going to keep and what I'm not. I have pages that I printed four years ago. So, um, most what I have left is either fall or Christmas. So, um, the old fall ones I probably donate down to my um, senior center. They just love getting them and um, working with them. And they're all from all different kits. A lot of them were, I, I know this was from Casey Fox and Artie Mays, and I haven't used those in a long, long time. So, um, I still have those two to go through, but I had gone through one of my um, file folders, and it was the Secret Garden, and I thought, I'm gonna make a journal. Um, I have a couple of tags I need to make for my, um, for my tag challenge that I've been doing, um, I'm behind, but I had something, I really needed to get some or those things organized because it's, they, it, it had been too long. I needed to get that file drawer done. So anyway, um, and I don't have any glue left. Well, I don't have any glue stick left. And I ordered my barrel yards, but it's on back order. So I thought I'm going to pull out some fabrics and I'm going to make a journal cover for my journal that I want to make, which is the Secret Garden, which is my favorite, one of my favorite kits Angela Kerr ever did. Because I am just such a huge fan of the Secret Garden. Like I have so many Secret Garden things. I actually, when I was putting my books away, I came across a second copy of this, which I did not know I had. So I'm going to send it to my granddaughter and um, she absolutely loves to color with colored pencils and I think she'll enjoy reading it and coloring these images in, which I had done some for my last secret journal um, that I had made using this kit. I got it at the dollar, you know, in the dollar section at uh, my local bookstore about two years ago. It says to Madison, Mrs. Coon. But um, I love the foxing on the pages. They they really look old, much older than my copy. So I'll probably give her my the other copy that I have. And I'll keep this one. But anyway, fun, right? So I decided to print two to a page to like, I had all of these. And these were from the Secret Garden. And they could be used for anything. But I printed two to a page. And I'm going to make a journal. And yes, I love making many journals. For those of you who are new to my channel. And um, I've made several different mini journals. Little journals. Um, like micro journals. This is like five years old. It has ephemera, has little envelopes, little paper clips. The envelopes have things in them. They open. They have little ephemeras in them. This is a kit actually from my porch prints. And one day I'd like to have the whole library in the library box that you can make for them. But, um, so I've made them as small as this. To, and this I put lace on all the pages, a little lace on the back, some lace on the front, some of them are in the front pocket, which is so cute. Little corners. <laughs> and then I've made them like this in little tins. Um, I don't know why that's untied, but it is. I tied it on the outside so that 
um, you could tie it. But this is basically out of scraps that I had left over from, uh, I think that's the Felicity kit from Raindrop Lila. I may have even done this on video. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I did. But it's full of ephemera. And I love it. I love making the tin one, the ones that come in tins. Not all these pages of Felicity. Like that's from a calendar. Um, that's just a doily that I put those two little pieces on. Do they? Oh, they lift up. And that's like a French book page. Some more paper. Little ticket. You know, just stuff I had. And I wanted to use up the paper, so I put together this little mini journal. Some painted swatch paper made a little belly band. I don't even remember what's in here. Oh, a little pocket. Is that open? Probably. Yeah. So, yeah, I just used whatever scraps I had left and put together this little journal. And this is just a uh, mint can from... I think Altoids, yep, so yeah, and then I tied it on the back. You know, I tied it through so that it could tie this way and put a little dangle like, just a little bead on it. I think it goes like this and then it goes like this. I don't know why that was untied, I must have been showing somebody. And then, you just tie it. So I wanted to make another one. And so I had some scraps of fabric. So I took those out and I put together a cover. But it was too short for what I'm using for the box that I want to make the journal out of, which my husband thinks I'm out of my mind. But it was getting ready to throw it away. And I said, stop, I think I want to make a journal out of that. <laughs> Well, he had it on the counter to put in recycling. And he said, you're crazy. I said, I know. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll show you what I'm making for the journal in a moment. But what happened was, is I got all done basting it and realized it was too short. But I still had a few pieces left that I hadn't used. So, I took out, this is some linen. It was on cotton, but I had that little piece of linen, so... I'm using that for the bottom and I'm just extending it by putting these pieces on. I don't know why some of these pins don't work. So what I did was, I'll show you in one second, that still needs to have a little bit of that white underneath it, but I extended it this way. So I had a big enough piece to go here but this piece was too short, so I, but this piece was long enough, so I cut this little piece off and stuck it here. So it still had that patchwork look. And now it will fit my box that I'm putting it on. And I've pretty much finished basting it. I mean, that's, you know, I have, I'm gonna slow stitch it, so I'm just basting it. So I'll show you how I'm basting it. So I put this, so I'm extending it, see, here. That's an extension, but it doesn't matter because that's going to go on the front of the box. And then I'll line the inside probably with this because there's a long enough piece. But this is just plain white like sheet from a sheet. And this is some linen that I had a small piece enough. I didn't want to take out this whole piece of, this is like, I think it's like 60 inches wide. It's like a sheet, you know. So, um, anyway, so I thought that I would turn on my camera and, um, is that what I was using for a needle? I think so. I thought I would turn on my camera and say hello real quick and show you what I was up to. I still have, like I said, a couple of tags to make, but I wasn't really in the mood to do those. And, um, yeah. John's just watching his series, and I didn't really want to do that, so anyway, 
I thought I'd come in here and do this. Work on this. Aren't these cute? These are from um, Celeste from Woodland Inspired. She sent them to me as a gift. But I love them. They, I have a whole bunch in here. So when I'm almost out of my spool, you know, that I use for my embroidery floss, you know, like my DMC embroidery floss, then I'll put what's left on one of these. And that's why I keep it in my jar. And this goes on top of my jar for those of you who are new. I made this and then glued it on top of here. And then this sits on my desk because I'm always sewing buttons or doing a slow stitch on something. So let me get some thread and some scissors out of my little thread. But these are adorable. Thank you, Celeste, by the way. I use them all the time. I love them. She also gifted me some lace spools and all kinds of spools. And I love that pink that she uses. So what did I do with my needle? Did I put it back in there? Probably. What did I do with it? Oh, well, that's weird. Usually I'll stick it like right into my board. Oh well, I'll just get another one. If you're ever going to make one of these, make sure you make it out of wool felt. Otherwise your needles will rust. And this is just a piece of linen I had and then I put this on the inside and then I put some lace on the bottom and then I this was on I printed it on fabric and I put some little French knots and then put some thread this through it I had cut this down from something and sewed around it because it had this on it it was a napkin or something and I thought oh that would make a cute needle book and it was quick so I've even got Lindsay doing slow stitching now. So if you can sew a button, you can do slow stitching. I'll show you what else I'm working on for a slow stitch too, which is a fun project. If you like to just relax. When I was doing this up at Lindsay's a couple of weeks ago, she's like, Mom, that is so cathartic. Show me what you're doing. I need to do that. So I showed her and... I, gave, I left her some fabrics and she keeps texting me and showing me all the things she's making and it's just so fun to see her doing that because she doesn't have a lot of dexterity in her hands so I'm really happy. I only use two threads when I do my basting. So let me just make sure this is nice and even there so I can get it through. And I usually have my little wax thing there, but this will probably work okay. And like I said, if you can sew a button, you can do this. It's so relaxing. And what else? Angela Kerr and Rach from Rach and Bella Crafts. I think I only got one thread through there, but that's okay. I'll just double it. Um, Angela Kerr and Rach from Rach and Bella Crafts. I have done another collaboration together and made a beautiful kit, both of them. So I'll have all the information on that tomorrow. I'll print out. Uh, their information if you're interested in joining that. I think they have a sale going on too, both of them. On their website and their Kofi site. So I'll leave that information tomorrow. I'm also joining Meg's um, from Meg, Meg's Junk Journals. Or is it Meg's Journals? I don't remember. Anyway, Meg's Journals. Um... I'm joining her junk journal July. 
I've been watching her a lot lately. I love like her style. She's always, she's calming to listen to. She's fun. So all you do is, um, so yeah, I'm enjoying that because the theme this year is pink. And I thought well, that would be fun. So I've got to make that journal tomorrow because that, that'll be starting soon too. I'm sure Angela will be starting hers very soon. Uh, Angela and Rach, theirs is for July as well. And I don't remember what the theme is, but the kit is, um, I think it's called Retreat. So it's basically like, a retreat in the countryside, like in the English countryside, which is awesome. And if you, I'm not giving anything away. Angela already came out with the kit, so, and so did Rach. But um, if you like um, Laura Ashley, oh my gosh. There's a couple of pages I can't wait to print on fabric. Like, I can't download it fast enough to get it printed on fabric, but I'm not going to until I'm ready. I have one more journal to make before I start that. And I have to catch up on my kits. Oh, I have to make that journal for Junk Journal in July, but that won't take long. I might do that on video tomorrow. I might make that because it's, it's easy. I'm going to do the same one Meg's doing. So for Junk Journal July, I know Rach from Rach and Bella Cra I know Rach from Roxy Creations. Who else? Um, I don't remember. But I think it will be fun. I've never done one before, but I don't know. For some reason lately, I really want to do like mixed media and collaging. My collage boards, but they really got me started on collages. I really feel very confident doing them. I just have to stop being so particular. But they were fun. I've got 12 boards made, so now I have them for if I want to make anything. I've gotten through a lot of my book pages, so that's good. So, oh. <laughs> So what I'm doing is, um, my basting stitches, as you can see, are all long in the back. So I don't have to take them out. So what I do is, I just, I'm going to go put that stitch in and then I'll show you. So I come up, I'll go down with my thread in the back, like to about here then I'll come up here and then I go in back of this stitch because it kind of locks it in teeny tiny little stitch there and then I'm a long stitch I'll come up like here and then I go teeny, teeny, tiny stitch in back of that, which, oops, which locks it in. And then I'll come up through here and down through here. And that's it. And you can barely see those stitches and I won't take them out. Now I'll go and do a row here. So I'll go here. I'll go in back of this. I didn't really put a very long thread in there. Usually I, for basing, I have a very long thread, so I only have to use one. I don't have to keep threading my needle. And then again, right, right, like almost into that stitch, but behind it. And I'm going to tie this off because it's short. And then I'll show you what I'm making this cover for. So let me just tie this off. Oh, 
I love this um, kit that Angela put out. It's probably my favorite one, the one I'm going to show you. And like I said, I had the backing pages, so I thought, I'm going to make another journal. I'm just going to put that pin there because I don't want to lose it. I can put that back there. So this is going to be my cover. I can take that out. I actually think I'll put it. I think I'll put it down here. So I'm extending it is what I'm doing. Because I went to put it on my box and I realized it wasn't long enough. So here's my box that I'm using. Yes, it is a Band-Aid box. You could use any piece of cardboard. You don't have to use a Band-Aid box, but it was there. I didn't want John to throw it away. I wanted to use it. So when I put it on, I had enough for it to go this way, but this way, my box ended right there. So I had nothing to wrap it this way. See what I'm saying? I have enough to go top and bottom for sure. And then I will probably end up covering the inside maybe with this, if that makes sense, because I have enough of it and it's pretty linen. It's like a damask, white on white. It's really pretty. So it will go like this. And that will be my cover. And it'll be nice and sturdy because it's got the fabric on it. It'll have the fabric on the inside. And then I was thinking about doing three signatures with, I think I said four pages, no, six pages in each signature. Cause that's a pretty good size spine. I don't know what the size is. It looks like two inch, but maybe it's only an inch. It is only an inch. Anyway, it's a good enough spine. And here are my pages. Well, this is one page. And that goes right in here. So it'll look really cute. I think it'll be a really cute journal. And I love this kit. I'm getting ready to do my jars over because I love the new kit Angela has that she just came out with. And Rach, the kits, it's beautiful. But look. I cover my, these are old like candle jars that I keep and don't throw away. This might be like a pickle jar or something, but most of them are candle jars. And I just keep them on my, I have like a double layer um, Lazy Susan, like a top and bottom Lazy Susan next to me. And I just keep like my, you know, items in it. But as soon as Angela came out with this secret garden kit, I immediately covered the jars with it and I can see that it's they're getting ready to need to be recovered so anyway all of the jars are covered with that <laughs> it looks so pretty anyway so that's today's video not very long not very interesting I'll give you the size of this box and I printed the pages two to a page so um, it's six and a half, I think, wide. Let me do it this way. Yep, six and a half, if you wanted to follow along, by four and a quarter. Oh, wait a minute. Yep, four and a quarter. So, if you want to follow along, even with tea stained or, like I said, scraps, like I made my like I made this one out of um, that would be great anything this is the other little one that I make this is the one that Lindsay is working on now it's um just a spool of my mother-in-law had a ton of these spools left some of them still have thread on them but this I'm making for a friend of mine Oh, um, see, I'm just taking little pieces and I'm just slow stitching on them just with the seed stitch 
I think it's called. The back doesn't look very pretty yet, but I'll be putting something on the back. And then I'm just going to put it on here. Somehow, I don't know how. I should have left it. I might put like a little piece up here so that I can glue that on without gluing this part on. So like I'll extend this up enough to wrap around once and then this will go around it like this. And it will be all slow stitched and all little pieces of different fabrics. And I'll put probably little seed beads in because I think buttons might chunk it up too much. But I'll put laces, little laces, and I'll use different color threads. Right now I'm just using this, it's like an off-white thread that I'm using. And that's just a piece of a sheet. And these are just pieces, little pieces, bits and pieces of fabric, you know, that sort of match-ish but not really, but I love the colors. I love this piece right here. So it just depends on, this says choose joy. It just depended on how I tore it. So if you can sew a button, you can definitely do this. It's so relaxing. And this doesn't take long at all. Like I did this in not even an hour while I was at Lindsay's last. They work up really fast, very fast. And they're great little gifts. I'll actually show you this when I'm finished with it. That's just the thread I've been working with. Let's put this in here so it doesn't unravel. So yeah, so that's today's video. I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your evening. I don't know how long this will take to go up, but it typically takes a while. So you might not even see it until tomorrow because it's 10 o'clock. So I will be back tomorrow with another video. I'm not sure what yet, but it will be fun. Please leave me a comment if you have visited so that one, I can get to know you better and two, to help my channel grow, not grow in numbers, but just so that YouTube will direct people to my channel. Um, because I, I just like to be an inspiration. I like to meet new people. And um, yeah, so just even if you just say hi, that'll be enough. I really, really appreciate it. And I am um, getting ready to open my Kofi shop. So that will be fun. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah. Get out some pieces and bits of fabric if you want to make, make a fabric cover. Or you can make a paper cover. It doesn't matter. But that's it. So until tomorrow, enjoy your evening. Be safe, be kind, be sweet, and God bless. Love y'all. Good night.